Something else very exciting here, businesses in Speedway have been hit pretty hard this year, but yeah. not only the pandemic, by not only the pandemic rather, but also the fact that there haven't been many fans at the races at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Yeah, exactly, but they are getting some support from Indy 500 champ Simon Pagano and our very own Randall Newsom. He is live at one of the businesses on Main Street right now with more. Hey there, Randall. Hey, ladies. Okay, so I'm here on Main Street, and this year we're all about the pumpkins, okay? So I'm here with Connie with the Speedway Chamber of Commerce. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good, good, good. Okay, so we got pumpkins everywhere on this street right, right. now. Uh, what is going on with we you We want to embrace the harvest thing with the IndyCar Harvest GP. So mm -hmm. everybody in Speedway, we asked them if they wanted to participate in our pumpkin uh, promotion, and we got overwhelming responses. So everyone from Three Sisters in a Trunk that has pumpkin uh, shirts for women mm -hmm. to Fun Days across the street that has pumpkin milkshakes. We've got City Dogs, which has um, some great pumpkin cookies. Okay. We have the Voom Room down the street that's doing a pumpkin facial wow. so we've got something of everyone plus we've got pumpkin pie martinis pumpkin mm -hmm. pie shots pumpkin beer it's just a way for the IndyCar fans that will either be coming into Speedway to go to the race or maybe coming here to watch it and hear the cars that they can celebrate the Harvest GP with us awesome and we talked about it earlier but what does it feel like to have fans excited are, to be over here again we are overjoyed yeah. we are so excited just like everybody else in the city and the state that we get to have fans here whenever there's fans at the indianapolis motor speedway we get a lot of traffic on main street so mm -hmm. we wanted to roll out our welcome mat and have everybody participate first time to have a race in the fall mm -hmm. so we've got you know pumpkin cookies everything we've got going on and not only on main street but we've got some businesses located out other places in speedway mm -hmm. mcgillivray's pub has a pumpkin pie shot right around the corner is um the famous tomato and they are selling pumpkins mm -hmm. and gourds and we've got uh, the famous candy store that has pumpkin pie soda so no so no matter if you've got kids dogs or just want to go out and have enjoy some food and drink we hope you'll come to Speedway Wow the impact of COVID-19 obviously has hit a lot of these businesses really hard sure how do you hope that this will lift their spirits a little bit well I think a lot of it it will help us financially but you you've got it right mm -hmm. the spirits is a big thing because we were really kind of depressed around here because we're yeah. used to month of the May being just you know well largest sporting event in the world mm -hmm. so um, not having that and then having it rescheduled to August and not being able to have fans you know was we were really sad about it, but we tried to embrace it and do what we could. So we just encourage everyone, um, no matter if they're going to the track or watching the race at home, go to their local establishment, even if it's not in Speedway. We want you to come to Speedway, but everybody needs some love. So pick up some food, some carry out, go home, listen to the race, watch the race, and have a great fall weekend. Also, Connie, thank you so much for having us. We got more with Connie here at 430. And it's got a lot to do with Three Sisters in a Trunk and a racer that you guys might be familiar with. We got that after the break. Thank you so much. That I looks want, fun. I want pumpkin pie cookies. Right? I want a pumpkin pie shake. Start and Randall, sign me up for a pumpkin pie facial. Right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All the bumpkins. Bring that on. <laughs>